Have you ever wondered what the wife of Sheikh Hamdan thinks about him? In this video, we'll explore a poem written by Hadia Zen, Sheikh Hamdan's ex-wife, about their relationship. Discover the secrets she reveals and gain insight into their love story. The poem, which is titled My Sheikh My Love, is a heartfelt tribute to Sheikh Hamdan. It describes him as a kind, loving, and generous person who is deeply committed to his family and his people. The poem also touches on Sheikh Hamdan's love for nature and his his passion for adventure. Through the poem we can learn a lot about Sheikh Hamdan's personality and character. He is portrayed as a humble and down-to-earth person who is deeply connected to his roots and his culture. He is also shown to be a romantic and caring partner who values his relationship with Hadia Zen. The poem provides a unique insight into Sheikh Hamdan's private life and his personal relationships. It shows us a side of him that is rarely seen in public and gives us a glimpse into the man behind the public persona. Hadia Zen comes from a prominent family in Dubai and was married to Sheikh Hamdan for several years before their divorce. In the poem, she describes Sheikh Hamdan as her soulmate and the love of her life. She also talks about their shared love for nature and adventure and how they would often go on long drives and explore the wilderness together. However, the poem also hints at some of the challenges that their relationship faced. Hadia Zen talks about how Sheikh Hamdan's responsibilities as a prince often kept him away from from her, and how she would miss him dearly during those times. She also mentions how their relationship was tested by external factors, such as the pressures of public life and the expectations of their families. Hadia Zen's perspective on Sheikh Hamdan is one of love and admiration, but also one of complexity and nuance. The poem gives us a glimpse into their private life and the challenges that they faced as a couple, and it shows us that even the most glamorous and high-profile relationships are not immune to the ups and downs of real life. Some people have praised the poem for its beauty and its insight into Sheikh Hamdan's private life. They have commended Hadia Zen for her courage in sharing such personal thoughts and feelings with the world, and have expressed admiration for the love that she and Sheikh Hamdan shared. Others, however, have been more critical of the poem. They have questioned the appropriateness of sharing such personal details about a public figure, and have accused Hadia Zen of seeking attention or revenge. Some have even suggested that the poem may have been written with the intention of damaging Shish Hamdan's reputation or causing him embarrassment. Despite the mixed reactions, the poem has continued to generate interest and discussion. It has sparked conversations about love, relationships, and the challenges of public life and has given us a glimpse into the private world of one of Dubai's most prominent figures. As the world continues to follow the lives of Dubai's royal family, it is likely that we will see more glimpses into their private lives in the future. For now, the poem My Shake, My Love remains a fascinating and thought-provoking piece of writing that has captured the attention of people around the world. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, if you want to know the real reason Sheikh Hamdan's wife left him, make sure to watch the video on the screen to find out why. Crown Prince of Dubai and Chairman of the Executive Council of Dubai, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has announced a scholarship program to help smart Emirati high school and college grads. The Hamdan bin Mohammed Academic Scholarship Program gave graduates 1.1 billion to help pay for their college studies. This project is part of the Dubai Social Agenda 33. The new program will add to the scholarships that are already available by giving 75 more awards. Each year, these will help 100 exceptional students. It is up to the Knowledge and Human Development Authority, KHDA, to set the rules for the choosing process. When the registration window opens will depend on when the high school results are released, taking into account when different courses end. Sheikh Hamdan says the program will give local ability to the next generation. For the past two school years, Sheikh Hamdan has been honoring Dubai's top 25 high school students. He said, Investing in Emirati's higher education and giving our youth knowledge is fundamental for building and maintaining a knowledgeable society. Dubai's government is firmly committed to giving top achievers the tools they need to become competent and influential future leaders, with the advanced skills they need to improve areas in the Emirate and write new chapters in Dubai's development story. This program recognizes students who are working hard to reach their academic and personal goals, which helps them reach their targets, Sheikh Hamdan said. 
The goal of the Hamdan bin Mohammed Academic Scholarship Program is for Dubai to be one of the 10 best places in the world for education by 2033. By training great leaders for the future, the school will make a big difference in Dubai's knowledge-based economy. In addition, the program is meant to give students scholarships to study at well-known foreign colleges in fields that are relevant to Dubai's economy. With its help, three times as many people will be working in the private sector as there are now. How kids can apply for the free money program. The program will begin taking applications in April for the 2024-2025 school year. Each year, it will give money to 100 students. So Sheikh Hamdan and his cute twins went on a trip to Uzbekistan. And what's interesting is that Hadia Zen, Sheikh Hamdan's second wife, also joined but took a different flight. They all had a great time making memories, but here's the twist. When Sheikh Hamdan and the twins came back to Dubai on December 13th, Hadia stayed in Uzbekistan. She hung out with her cousins and stayed at one of their homes to stay safe. Let's dig into why she stayed longer. While Sheikh Hamdan and the twins returned home, Hadia kept having a good time with her cousins. It's not just for fun. Staying there also makes sure Hadia is safe and gets a unique experience. This unexpected twist shows how Sheikh Hamdan's family works. While the twins went back to Dubai, Hadia staying longer shows how flexible and understanding they are in their relationships. It's cool to see how they prioritize family bonds. Of course, when something different happens, people start guessing why. Fans have been talking online wondering if Hadia planned to stay longer or if things just happened that way. Let's check out what people are saying. Now, let's talk about some things we found out. People close to the family say Hadia's choice to stay in Uzbekistan was a mix of what she wanted and what was going on. Sheikh Hamdan, being a supportive husband, agreed to make sure she's safe. So that's the latest info on Sheikh Hamdan and his family. It's always interesting to peek into the lives of famous people, especially when unexpected things like Hadia's longer stay happen. In the dazzling world of Dubai, a land of luxury and opulence, one name stands out. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai. A multifaceted personality with an illustrious lineage, he captivates the world with his charisma, passion, and enigmatic lifestyle. Today, we embark on a captivating journey to unravel the hidden aspects of his life, from his early days in a prominent Arab Sheikh family to his ascent to the throne and the secrets he guards fiercely. As we delve deeper into the life of this Oriental prince, prepare to be enthralled by the tales of power, love, and mystery that surround him. In the lavish city of Dubai on a cool November day in 1982, a momentous event unfolded within the walls of the Maktoum Palace. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai, entered the world, bringing with him a ray of hope and a destiny intertwined with the splendor of his birthright. The atmosphere within the palace was one of excitement and anticipation, High-ranking dignitaries, esteemed guests, and loyal subjects gathered to celebrate the arrival of the newest member of the Al Maktoum clan. The news of the birth spread like wildfire through the city, evoking jubilation and pride among the citizens of Dubai. The birth of a royal child is always steeped in tradition, and this momentous occasion was no exception. Ceremonies and rituals passed down through generations were meticulously observed to ensure the blessings of prosperity and fortune upon the newborn prince. Lavish feasts, joyful music and spirited dances filled the air as the city came alive with celebration. Amid the grandeur and opulence, Sheikh Hamdan's parents, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and Hind bint Maktoum, beamed with joy and pride as they cradled their newborn son. The loving gaze of a father and the gentle touch of a mother conveyed an unspoken promise to nurture and protect the young prince as he embarked on his journey through life. The birth of a royal child carries immense significance, not only for the family, but also for the nation. The arrival of a future leader symbolizes continuity, stability, and the preservation of cherished values that form the foundation of Dubai's identity. It ignites a sense of hope and optimism as the people look to the new generation to uphold the legacy of their ancestors and guide them toward a prosperous future. As the news of the royal birth spread beyond the borders of Dubai, congratulations poured in from leaders and dignitaries across the globe. Gifts and well wishes arrived from foreign lands, representing a global acknowledgement of the importance of this event. Throughout the years, the young prince's upbringing was carefully orchestrated combining modern education with the rich traditions of his heritage. From an early age, 
he was instilled with a strong sense of duty, honor, and respect for his people. Education was paramount, and he received the best tutors and mentors, nurturing his intellectual curiosity and honing his leadership skills. The royal household became a haven of love and unity, where siblings played and laughed together, and the bonds of family were strengthened. Amid their prestigious roles, the parents of Sheikh Hamdan ensured that their children experienced the joys of a childhood filled with warmth and affection. As the young prince grew, the city of Dubai watched in awe, knowing that they were witnessing the emergence of a remarkable leader destined for greatness. His charm, charisma and innate ability to connect with people endeared him to all, fostering a genuine sense of admiration and love from his subjects. Within the magnificent walls of the Maktoum Palace, amidst the opulence and grandeur, there resided a woman of mystery and grace, Hind bint Maktoum, the mother of Sheikh Hamdan bin Muhammad al Maktoum. While the world knew her as the Sheikh's first and main wife, very little was revealed about her life beyond her role as a devoted mother and wife. Born into a prominent family herself, Hind bint Maktoum brought with her a legacy of tradition and values that complemented the esteemed Al Maktoum lineage. Renowned for her beauty and intelligence, she captured the heart of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai, at a young age. Their union was not only a marriage of hearts but also a union of families, symbolizing the unity of powerful clans. Throughout her life, Hind demonstrated remarkable discretion and elegance, exuding an air of regal poise that befitted her position as the First Lady of Dubai. Her humility and humility were legendary, as she remained dedicated to her family and the well-being of her children, always putting their needs above her own. Although she held a position of great influence and importance, Hind bint Maktoum chose to lead a private life away from the public eye. Rarely seen at formal events or public functions, she preferred to focus on her role as a nurturer and guide to her twelve children, of whom Sheikh Hamdan was the cherished fourth. While she may have been the reserved and elusive figure in the royal family, her influence was felt deeply in the palace and beyond. Her wisdom and guidance played a significant role in shaping the character of her children, instilling in them the virtues of compassion, empathy and humility, which would serve them well as they embarked on their individual journeys. Heinz's love for her family knew no bounds, and she dedicated herself wholeheartedly to their happiness and well-being. Her support for her husband, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, during times of challenge and triumph, was unwavering, and her presence provided a sense of stability and warmth to the palace. Despite her reticence in the public sphere, the people of Dubai held her in high regard and admiration. They admired her devotion to her family and respected her decision to uphold the traditions of the royal family, which emphasized privacy and modesty when it came to personal matters. Throughout her life, Hind bint Maktoum remained a symbol of elegance and grace, embodying the spirit of a true oriental princess. Her love for her children, her devotion to her husband, and her unwavering commitment to her family's legacy left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who knew her. As the mother of a future leader, Hin's role was not merely that of a nurturing parent, but also that of a guiding force, shaping the destiny of the Al Maktoum lineage. Her wisdom and strength contributed to the building of a strong and united family, ready to face the challenges that awaited them on their path of leadership. In the sprawling halls of the Maktoum Palace, a unique bond flourished between two young princes, Hamdan bin Muhammad al Maktoum and his elder brother, Rashid bin Muhammad al Maktoum. Theirs was a journey of brotherhood that transcended the titles and privileges of their royal lineage as they forged an unbreakable connection that would shape their destinies. From the earliest days of their childhood, Hamdan and Rashid were inseparable, side by side, they navigated the intricate corridors of the palace, embarking on adventures that only the boundless imagination of youth could conceive. Together, they laughed, played, and shared their dreams, blissfully unaware of the weight of responsibilities that would soon rest upon their shoulders. As they grew older, their brotherly camaraderie only strengthened. They attended aristocratic boys' schools in Dubai, side by side, savoring the pleasures of learning and experiencing the world together.
their shared experiences not only solidified their bond, but also instilled in them a deep sense of duty and honor, attributes that would become instrumental in their roles as future leaders. Their journey of brotherhood took a momentous turn when they embarked on a new chapter of their education in the United Kingdom. Thousands of miles away from home, they found solace in each other's company, united by a sense of kinship that bridged cultural differences. In the hallowed halls of the Royal Military Academy in Sandhurst, they received training that would prepare them for the responsibilities that lay ahead. As they donned the uniforms of aspiring military leaders, they followed in the footsteps of their counterparts, Princes William and Harry. The camaraderie they shared with their British peers further enriched their experiences, allowing them to glimpse a world beyond the splendor of their homeland. Their journey of brotherhood was not merely limited to the pursuit of knowledge and military training. They also shared a profound love for their homeland and its people, their hearts swelling with a sense of responsibility to serve and protect their nation. This deep-rooted patriotism bound them together, motivating them to become exemplary leaders for the citizens of Dubai. As the years passed, it became evident that Rashid, as the firstborn of the Emir of Dubai, was destined to ascend to the throne, following in the footsteps of their father. This knowledge, however, did not create division between the brothers. Instead, it fostered an even stronger bond, as they vowed to support each other's aspirations and complement each other's strengths. However, fate had an unexpected turn in store for the royal brothers. Rashid's future as the heir to the throne took an unforeseen twist, leading to a pivotal moment in their journey of brotherhood. It was on February 1st, 2008, that Prince Hamdan took the official oath as the Sheikh's successor, replacing Rashid as the designated Crown Prince. This momentous event, cloaked in secrecy and intrigue, shook the foundations of their brotherly relationship, yet rather than letting it cause a divide, the brothers faced this twist of fate with unwavering support for each other. Theirs was a bond that transcended titles and positions, embodying the essence of unconditional love and loyalty. As Sheikh Hamdan embraced his new role as the Crown Prince, he carried the memory of his brother close to his heart, honoring Rashid's memory through his dedication and service to Dubai. Despite the unforeseen shift in their destinies, the journey of brotherhood they had embarked upon remained unyielding, an unbreakable bond that time and circumstance could not sever. To this day, the memory of Rashid lives on in the heart of Sheikh Hamdan, reminding him of the cherished moments they shared, the dreams they nurtured, and the unbreakable fraternity that defined their journey. As the Crown Prince of Dubai, Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum continues to carry the spirit of their brotherhood, drawing strength and inspiration from the enduring bond they once forged as two young princes united in their shared journey of leadership, love and brotherhood. In the grand tapestry of Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum's life, an unexpected turn of events would alter the course of his destiny and the line of succession to the throne of Dubai. The royal family's closely guarded secrets began to unravel, revealing a chapter shrouded in mystery and speculation. As the world held its breath, whispers of intrigue circulated about the events that led to the sudden change in the line of succession. Various accounts emerged, each painting a different picture of the circumstances that prompted Rashid bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, the eldest son and heir apparent, to relinquish his title. According to secret documents published by WikiLeaks, one account claimed that Rashid had committed a grave crime, resulting in the untimely demise of one of his father's aides. It was said that a fit of rage had driven Rashid to commit an act that shocked the ruler and prompted him to re-evaluate the order of succession. Another version of events pointed towards Rashid's alleged struggle with drug addiction. Rumors whispered of a young prince grappling with personal demons, a struggle that ultimately impacted his ability to fulfill the weighty responsibilities of the crown. Amid the swirl of rumors, the royal family remained stoically silent, revealing nothing beyond what was deemed necessary for public consumption. The reasons behind the change in the line of succession remained veiled in secrecy, sparking a whirlwind of speculation and conjecture. Despite the ambiguity surrounding the circumstances, one thing was clear. 
Sheikh Hamdan bin Muhammad al Maktoum was now the official successor to his father's throne. As he assumed this pivotal role, the weight of leadership rested on his shoulders, and he vowed to dedicate himself wholeheartedly to the welfare and progress of his nation. For Sheikh Hamdan, the unexpected turn of events represented a profound shift in his life's trajectory. The responsibility that he had once thought would fall to his elder brother was now entrusted to him. He carried this mantle with humility and a deep sense of duty, mindful of the challenges and expectations that accompanied his new role. While the change in the line of succession brought new responsibilities, it also brought a mix of emotions. Grief and loss clouded the palace as the family mourned the passing of the beloved elder son, Rashid bin Muhammad al Maktoum. The memory of their shared journey of brotherhood, the dreams they once held together, and the unbreakable bond they had forged remained etched in Sheikh Hamdan's heart. In the wake of this profound loss and the new path that lay ahead, Sheikh Hamdan drew strength from the love and support of his family, the guidance of his father, and the loyalty of his people. The people of Dubai rallied around their crown prince, offering unwavering loyalty and trust in his ability to lead. As Sheikh Hamdan embraced his role as the future ruler, he was driven by a determination to honor the legacy of his family and to serve as a beacon of hope for his nation. With every step he took, he carried the memory of his brother in his heart, cherishing the moments they had shared and vowing to uphold the values they both held dear. In the midst of the unexpected turn of events, the journey of Sheikh Hamdan bin Muhammad al Maktoum took a new trajectory, leading him towards a destiny that would be defined by his dedication, compassion, and leadership. Despite the mysteries that surrounded the change in the line of succession, the Crown Prince embraced his role with grace and resilience, resolute in his commitment to carry on the legacy of his family and to lead Dubai towards a future of prosperity and unity. The tragic departure of Rashid bin Mohammed al Maktoum, the elder brother and once designated heir to the throne, left a void that seemed impossible to fill. As the palace walls echoed with mourning, the hearts of the royal family grieved for the loss of their beloved son and brother. A sense of collective sorrow enveloped Dubai as the citizens mourned the passing of a young prince whose charismatic presence had touched the lives of many. In the wake of Rashid's passing, memories of their shared childhood, the laughter they had once shared, and the dreams they had nurtured together became ever more poignant for Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed al Maktoum. The brotherly bond they had forged through the years was now a cherished memory etched in his heart forever. Amid the somber atmosphere, the circumstances surrounding Rashid's untimely demise became a subject of speculation and rumors. Some accounts pointed to a tragic cardiac arrest, while others suggested that he had met his end in a firefight in a far-off land. The veil of mystery surrounding his passing deepened the sense of loss and left lingering questions unanswered. For Sheikh Hamdan, the pain of losing his elder brother was immeasurable. Rashid had been more than just a sibling, he had been a confidant, a friend, and a pillar of support during the many challenges they faced together. The loss of Rashid was a reminder of the fragility of life and the fleeting nature of time. Yet, in the midst of sorrow, Sheikh Hamdan found solace in the cherished memories of their brotherhood. He held on to the lessons they had learned from each other and the values they had upheld together. Their shared experiences, laughter and tears became a source of strength, propelling him forward as he shouldered the weight of leadership that had now fallen solely upon him. Throughout the kingdom, the people of Dubai mourned in unison, expressing their grief and gratitude for the young prince, whose kindness and compassion had touched countless lives. They shared in the sorrow of the royal family, standing as a testament to the deep bonds that connected the leaders to their people. In the months that followed Rashid's passing, Sheikh Hamdan embarked on a path of remembrance and dedication. He honored his brother's memory by redoubling his efforts to serve his nation with even greater determination. The memory of Rashid's love for Dubai and his devotion to its people served as a guiding light, inspiring Sheikh Hamdan to carry on his brother's legacy of compassion and generosity. In the gardens of the palace, where they had once played as carefree children, Sheikh Hamdan found solace in the beauty of nature, reflecting on the fleeting nature of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. 
The memory of his brother's laughter and their shared dreams infused his heart with an unwavering commitment to lead with wisdom, kindness and humility. The tragic loss of Rashid bin Muhammad al Maktoum left an indelible mark on the royal family and the people of Dubai. It served as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of life and the importance of cherishing the bonds of family and friendship. In a world of reserved and distant royals, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum emerged as a refreshing enigma, embracing the power of social media to offer glimpses into his extraordinary life. While maintaining an air of mystique, he captivated the hearts of millions with his captivating online presence, earning the admiration of fans worldwide. Instagram, the virtual canvas of Sheikh Hamdan's life, painted a tapestry of opulence, adventure, and passion. Under the moniker, Fatza, meaning the one who rushes to help in Arabic, he bestowed upon his followers an intimate glimpse into his world, where the boundaries between the crown prince and the common man dissolved into mere pixels. On this digital canvas, Sheikh Hamdan showcased his luxurious lifestyle, granting the world access to a world of yachts, high-end cars, and exquisite thoroughbred horses. His love for thrilling adventures was palpable as he delved into adrenaline-fueled pursuits, from falconry to diving, parachuting, and snowboarding. One of the Crown Prince's greatest passions was speed. He emerged as a formidable rider and racer, setting his sights on the podium in prestigious equestrian competitions. His collection of rare and exotic cars further fueled his passion for speed, and he found solace in the freedom of the open road, where he could indulge in the thrill of racing. But beyond the glamorous facade lay a compassionate and nature-loving soul. Sheikh Hamdan's Instagram account became a gallery of his love for animals, especially birds and endangered species. His commitment to wildlife conservation was evident in his efforts to save endangered species, and he spared no expense in creating a personal nursery near the palace, housing rare fauna like white tigers. In a region where tradition often dictates that public service is a private matter, Sheikh Hamdan defied norms, using his social media platform to showcase his philanthropic endeavors. As a member of the committee of the Dubai Autism Center, he demonstrated a genuine commitment to supporting charitable causes close to his heart. Yet amid the grandeur and benevolence, the Crown Prince's online presence was a meticulously calculated enigma. He shared just enough to captivate his audience, yet never enough to unveil the entirety of his private life. His posts were artful in their subtlety, providing mere fragments of the intricate mosaic that formed his identity. In 2010, the WikiLeaks scandal thrust Sheikh Hamdan into the global spotlight, exposing unverified allegations of drug addiction and bisexuality. Despite the controversies surrounding the leaked information, the prince remained undeterred in maintaining his social media presence. The rumors disappeared as quickly as they had surfaced, leaving the world to wonder about the true extent of the enigmatic prince's secrets. Sheikh Hamdan's strategic use of social media created a paradox of closeness and distance, captivating audiences with his charm while carefully guarding his personal life. He crafted a fine balance between accessibility and exclusivity, tantalizing his followers with glimpses into his opulent world while preserving the allure of the unknown. As the social media enigma of the royal family, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum remained a trailblazer, shattering stereotypes and transcending the barriers between royalty and commoners. His use of technology not only showcased his adventurous and philanthropic side, but also positioned him as a modern leader, keenly aware of the importance of engaging with a digital audience in an ever-evolving world. For his legions of fans, Fatsa became more than just a royal handle, it embodied the essence of a captivating personality, a leader who defied convention, and a soul that sought to make a difference in the lives of others. As the enigmatic journey continued, Sheikh Hamdan's social media presence continued to captivate and inspire, leaving the world in eager anticipation of the next chapter in the life of the Crown Prince, who embraced the digital age with grace and charisma. The enigmatic life of Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum remains a captivating tale of royalty, passion and secrets. 
From his royal lineage to his adoration by the masses and the veiled aspects of his personal life, the Crown Prince of Dubai continues to fascinate the world. As we bid farewell to this enthralling journey, we are left to ponder over the mysteries surrounding Aladdin and eagerly await the next chapter in the life of this extraordinary prince. Until then, like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories of the world's most intriguing personalities. See you next time.